Hi, let's talk about some weather stations. Again, let's get into it. <laughs> So this is the ambient weather station, and this is model WS2902C Osprey Wi-Fi solar powered weather station. If you watch some of our other videos, you know that we had the Accurite 5-in-1 and the Accurite Atlas weather station, which we really, really liked. However, the sensor died, so we needed to replace it. And we thought, since we're both into our little weather machines and weather stations, we would just try a different company. This company gets great reviews. On Amazon, this particular weather station gets four and a half stars out of over 3,600 reviews. There's a ton of stats to go with this, so I don't wanna make this like super stat heavy and boring, but I'm gonna try and get through a couple of them. Then we're gonna go ahead and build it, mount it on the roof, and then use it for a little while, and we'll come back and tell you what we think of it and how it compares to our other weather stations that we had. All right. To make this go a little faster, I'm actually just gonna read the stats. <laughs> You can find this on their description on Amazon and also on the Ambient website, which will have links to both below. Wireless all-in-one integrated sensor array measures wind speed, wind direction, temperature, humidity, rainfall, UV, and solar radiation. Solar powered with battery backup, color LCD display, imperial and metric units, 915 megahertz RF wireless transmission to 300 feet line of sight range, 100 feet under most conditions with the exception of metal barriers, 16 second real time updates on the console, 60 second updates on the internet, encrypted Wi-Fi, internet two-way communication, calibration for all measured parameters, calendar, quartz time with auto daylight savings time, weather forecast as far as sunny, partly sunny, cloudy, rainy, stormy, and snowy, high and low for all parameters, independent alerts for all parameters, trend arrows for temperature, humidity, and barometer, low battery indicators. You can also connect this to Weather Underground as a weather station to be part of the Weather Underground community. It has all the specifications too as far as accuracy, but that's a ton to read. So again, we have the links below. I'll have all that stuff in the description. I just don't think anybody wants to watch a video of me just reading stats. So let's get into the box, let's build it, and let's see how well it works. All right, so it's gonna be a very quick unboxing. I fast forwarded through the whole thing um, just to make it a little bit quicker. So that's how it arrives to you. All the, the little parts, all the brackets and everything, there's the main unit. Uh, there's a little bubble level for when you do mount it. There's the light sensor. Uh, there's the rain catcher or the rain cup. Um, there's the wind direction. That is the, the cup that goes over the little rain cup, you'll see that that little metal thing actually goes into that black cup to stop from splashing. Wind direction snaps on really easy and then it's just a little Phillips screwdriver, tighten, uh, it comes with the screwdriver, anemometer, same thing, just slams in there. These are the brackets to mount onto a pole. You can also mount it onto a stud or a two by four if that's what you need to do. Uh, everything fits well. Here's some Meguiar's wax. The reason I show that is I like to wax the whole unit, particularly uh, the rain cup and the rain catcher, so no debris builds up on it. It makes it so uh, you know you don't have to clean it as often. The hydrophobic quality is good. So there's the little backup battery um, for the evening when you don't have solar. Little red light turns on. There's the sensor, uh, the solar sensor. So you just peel that sticker off and you're set to go. This is the actual head unit or home base or LCD display. Um, it's uh, It works well, super easy. Uh, it's got a battery backup. There's where you plug in the DC. Here's the little bla battery backup with that little black piece of cloth that you put underneath the battery so it's easier to get the batteries out when you have to replace them. Turns on and viola, there it is. There's a little base. Put it on and you're set to go. So now we're gonna go through the setup of the base station. This is really quick. I'm just showing it for fun on the, it's hard to see, but on the bottom left-hand corner there where my thumb is, there's a set button. You hold that down and then you're able to go ahead and scroll through your time zone and then you keep using that little set button to scroll through so you can set the date, the time, the year, Fahrenheit, Celsius, Etc. Then all that's left to do is set up the Wi-Fi, which is you'll find how to do in the instruction manual. And then we mounted ours on the roof on an old satellite dish mount. And uh, there it is. So let's get back to the video. Thank you. All right, so now time for the review. We waited a few months since we've had it. One, because we want to make sure it worked really well and that it kept working. And two, 
we wanted to wait to see how it worked in the rain. And since we don't get a lot of rain where we lived, had to wait for at least one rainy day. It works great. Very happy with the ambient weather station. I think I like it a little bit more than the Accurite, but I don't think you'd go wrong with an Accurite if that's what you like more. I did like the LCD display a little bit more on the Accurite, but this one works great. It's just a visual thing. They have pretty much the same amount of information on both. I just seem to lean a little bit more towards the look of the Accurite. The app for the Ambient is amazing. It gives you so much more information. Also the connectivity between the remote base station and the LCD screen seems to be much better with the Ambient than it is with the Accurite. Although that being said, I did mount the Ambient on a different place on the roof. The Wi-Fi, the app was super easy to set up. Hooking up to weather underground was no problem. It's been a, a great little unit, but I really want to stress we really enjoyed our Accurite weather station and we'd have no problem if we still had that. But as we said in the beginning of the video, needing to get a new weather station, thought it would be nice to try something new and really happy we did because this one's been working great. So thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, by all means, please email us or contact us or mention it in the comments below. Um, you can always find it at darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. Thanks. Bye. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. If you like the video, video would be great if you gave it a thumbs up because that helps us out. And if you subscribe to the channel, we've been doing drinking video, video videos all day. So we just thought this would be a good time to make an ending video. Cheers. <laughs>